Yo, what's good? Lario here with YouHelpMe.com, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to use automation like the pros in FL Studio. I'll be showing you how to automate stock and third-party plugins. I'm going to show you how to use automation to create dynamic and build anticipation into different sections of your beats. That being said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. All right, so I think I want to use this little drum loop right here that I have. Copy and paste this over to a new section. That way we have it separate. I want to add some sort of build up into this part. Right, let's make sure it's stretched out fully. Make sure it's added to the mixer track. Right now we have a parametric EQ2 on there, but we're going to go ahead and throw the fruity love filter on here to add some depth and maybe some like anticipation into that next section. In the preset section up in the top, I'm going to choose the low pass LFO automatically it's already kind of like sweeping through that low pass i'm going to highlight this section just so we get a nice loop going on here the old school or the original way is to just like right click the mix knob and hit create automation clip then we can create automation points by right clicking inside here pay attention to your grid you can adjust the tension and you can create some anticipation just like this you can see the automation working right now this is just adjusting the actual level on the whole plugin itself if, also if we go into the plugin we can right click any one of these knobs because it is a stock plugin and we can also automate each and every one of these knobs separately if we'd like you have that option i normally just go to the full-on mix knob so if we go to this menu right here we go to channel settings you also have this window that pops up you have a little bit more control you can click the lfo and you can adjust the automation wavelength here you can really customize everything with these controls here all right, let's say if we want this on a different section, but we don't want the same exact automation clip, let's copy and paste it over. We want to slightly alter it. You can click that drop down menu again on there and you can hit make unique. So now whatever we do to this automation clip will not affect the previous automation clip. As you can see here, I'm adjusting these levels here and it's not affecting the other one. If you don't make it unique, all these levels will mirror onto the other one as well. And I'll say we want to throw a third party plugin on and automate this. I'm going to use the knock plugin by Decap. Now let's say we want to automate the saturation knob, just that knob. Move it around, make sure it's the last one that you move. Go up to tools, then go down to last tweak and create an automation clip. This is going to create an automation clip just on that one knob itself. As you can see here, it says saturation and we can right click to create some automation points. Again, make sure you're paying attention to your grid and your snap. And you can see the automation working here in real time. All right, so here's for the real automation sauce. This is where the pro stuff comes in. Let's say we want to automate this high band, the seven band right here on the EQ. We want it to sweep through like this automatically. Now, normally we'd go to this knob, right click it, create automation clip right here, but we're not going to do that. This is a more effective way. We're going to go to the record button. We're going to select automation only. I'm going to highlight a section just so we stay within this one section right here. I'm going to click and arm the record button. We're going to create a new blank pattern here. We're going to drop it in a little bit longer than the length of the actual actual clip just in case open up the EQ again we're gonna select a count in here and we're gonna hit play now I'm just gonna sweep through as it plays and it's gonna record it in real time you can see it just working right away give that a nice little trim disarm it play it back and you can see it working in real time here exactly how we played it out this type of automation is going to give you more of a human feel to your automation it's not so static it's not so robotic and you can do multiple things at once and it's going to record all of it if you double click on that you can also go in and fine tune things if you want if you want to right click and make these lines straighter right click and drag and it's going to make a nice straight line if you want that now let's say we want to do the same thing to a third party plugin i got origin here by cymatics we're going to create a blank clip arm it to record count in i'm going to be working with this big knob in the middle right here Make sure you disarm the record button because while you have automation selected and you hit play anything you move or tweak will get recorded as automation and it could create a big mess so after you're done doing that make sure you disarm the record button we take a look at these both side by side and you can see them working in real time with that automation that we have created by hand all right, and one last thing. So the automation doesn't carry out after that. You're going to want a hard cut on the main plugin. So we're going to want to turn off the plugin when we want that automation to stop. You can do this by right clicking that mix knob again, create an automation clip. And then I'm just going to do a hard cut right when I want that automation to stop. So now I know nothing happens with that plugin when I don't want it to happen. It's completely off now. So there's nothing that's going to sneak through. 
even if it's like just a light setting we don't want it on there so we're gonna make sure it's a hard cut and it's a hard on that's gonna do it let me know in the comments what you want to see next and don't forget to go to yourhelpme.com for must-have producer tools and make sure to share this with a friend if you get me